Bible Butterflies in The Story of Easter Ben and Bella love reading the Bible. They decided to read the story, The Story of Easter. Many people went to Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover festival. Jesus and his disciples headed there. They arrived in Bethphage on the Mount of Olives, close to Jerusalem. Jesus said to his two disciples, Go ahead into the village. As you enter it, you will find a colt. No one has ever ridden it. Bring it to me. If anyone asks, Why are you untying the colt? Explain to them that the Lord needs it and will return it soon. The disciples placed their cloaks on the colt. Jesus rode it and headed to Jerusalem. God said through the prophet a long time ago, Do not be afraid, daughter Zion. See, your king is coming, seated on a donkey's colt. Jesus did exactly what the prophet had written. On his way, a crowd followed Jesus. These people heard about the miracles and teachings of the Lord. They were overjoyed to meet the King of Israel. People spread their cloaks on the road and threw palm branches along the way. The crowd shouted joyfully, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the King of Israel. The Pharisees were angry because everyone went after Jesus. Jesus entered Jerusalem and went into the temple courts. Caiaphas was the high priest. He gathered the chief priests and elders of the people in his palace. <laughs> they planned to arrest and kill Jesus. Judas Iscariot was one of Jesus' disciples. Satan entered Judas, and he chose to betray Jesus. He went to the chief priests and asked, If I deliver Jesus to you, what will you give me? They said, 30 pieces of silver. Judas accepted. It was the first day of the Festival of Unleavened Bread. The disciples asked where they were going to celebrate the Passover. Jesus told Peter and John, Enter the city. You will see a man carrying a jar of water. Follow him. He will enter a house. Say to the owner of the house, My teacher's time is near. The Lord will celebrate Passover with his disciples in your house. He took them to a large room upstairs. They prepared the Passover. Jesus and his disciples were together for the Passover meal. Evening came. Jesus and his twelve disciples were seated at the table. Jesus got up from the table, took off his outer clothing, put a towel on his waist. He filled a basin with water and 
began washing the disciples' feet. Jesus dried their feet with a towel. It was Peter's turn. He asked, Are you going to wash my feet, Lord? Jesus said, You will understand what I am doing later. Peter exclaimed, No, you will never wash my feet. Jesus explained that if he did not wash Peter's feet, Peter would not belong to him. Peter said, So wash my hands and head too. Don't only wash my feet. Jesus explained, Those who already bathed are clean. They only need to wash their feet. You are clean. And only need to wash your feet. But not every one of you. Jesus said that not all were clean because he knew Judas would betray him. The Lord finished washing the disciples' feet. He put on his clothes and returned to his place. Jesus explained, I am Lord and Teacher. I washed your feet. You must wash each other's feet. Do as I have done for you, and you will be blessed. They started eating. Jesus took the bread, gave thanks, and broke it. He gave it to his disciples and said, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in memory of me. Afterwards, he took a cup gave thanks and gave it to the disciples. He said, This is the new covenant in my blood, poured for the forgiveness of sins. Drink it. While they were eating, Jesus said, My time has come to go back to the Father. One of you will betray me. The traitor has dipped his hand into the bowl with me. It would have been better for him if he had not been born. The disciples were sad and said, You don't mean me. It wasn't me. Judah said, Rabbi, you don't mean me. Jesus answered, You have said so. They sang a hymn. and went to the Mount of Olives. Jesus and his disciples were in Gethsemane. The Lord had finished praying. Judas arrived and betrayed Christ with a kiss. The men arrested Jesus. The Lord was taken to Caiaphas, the high priest. Caiaphas asked if he was the Messiah, the Son of God. Jesus answered, I am. Caiaphas tore his clothes and said, He is speaking blasphemy. Everyone shouted, He deserves to die. They hurt Jesus. Early in the morning, the chief priests and elders sent Jesus to Pilate, the governor. Pilate asked, Are you the king of the Jews? The Lord said, You have said so. Pilate announced, Jesus has done nothing wrong. He asked the crowds, Should I release Jesus Barabbas? Or Jesus called the Messiah, 
The crowd shouted, Release Barabbas! Pilate asked, What do I do with Jesus the Messiah? They shouted, Crucify him! He asked, Why? What wrong has he done? The crowd shouted even louder, Crucify him! Pilate washed his hands before everyone and handed Christ to be crucified. The soldiers took Jesus and put a robe on him. They twisted a crown of thorns and put it on the Lord's head. A staff was placed on his right hand. They mocked and hurt Jesus. The soldiers put his own clothes on him. They took Christ away to crucify him. Jesus headed to the place of the skull. The soldiers forced Simon from Cyrene to carry the cross for Jesus. Jesus arrived at Golgotha. They offered him wine mixed with myrrh, but he refused. It was nine in the morning. The Lord Jesus Christ was crucified. There was a sign above him written, King of the Jews. Jesus said, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. The soldiers cast lots and divided his clothes. They sat and watched over him. People mocked Jesus. Two rebels were crucified with him. One of them insulted the Lord. The other one said, I deserve punishment, but Jesus is innocent. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. The Lord said, Today you will be with me in heaven. From noon until three in the afternoon, darkness came over all the land. The sun stopped shining. At three in the afternoon, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Someone offered Jesus wine vinegar on a sponge to drink. Jesus cried out in a loud voice, It is finished. He gave up his spirit. The curtain of the temple was torn in two. From top to bottom, the earth shook. Rocks split. The soldiers said, Surely he was the Son of God. Mary Magdalene, Mary, John and his mother were there for Jesus. Evening came. Joseph asked Pilate for Jesus' body. Pilate agreed. Joseph took the body. Joseph had a new tomb he had cut out of the rock where no one had laid. Nicodemus brought myrrh and aloes. The body was wrapped in linen cloth. A big stone was rolled in front of the entrance to the tomb. Pilate and the Pharisees made the tomb secure by putting a seal on the stone and posting a guard. It was the first day of the week after the Sabbath. A violent earthquake began. An angel came down from heaven. The guards were so afraid. The angel rolled back the stone and sat on it. Very early in the morning, the women went to the tomb. 
they found the tomb empty. The angel said, Do not be afraid. You are looking for Jesus. He is not here. He has risen, just as he said he would. Come see his empty tomb. Go tell the disciples quickly. He has risen from the dead. You will see him in Galilee. The women hurried to tell the disciples. Jesus appeared to them and said, Greetings. They worshipped him. Jesus said, Do not be afraid. Go tell my brothers to meet me in Galilee. What a beautiful Bible story! Ben and Bella learned that Jesus is the blameless Lamb of God who died for our sins and rose from the dead. Because He is risen and victorious over death, believers have eternal life in the Kingdom of Heaven. Their wings are shining and their hearts are full of love and joy for Jesus. Thank you for watching. See you next time.